Hello people of the internet, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have this. I don't really know what to call this, it's just kind of like a sliced up, mouthless look. I, d I don't really know what to call it, so, uh, you know, there there's that. Um, it's pretty neat, I guess. So if you want to see how I created this look, then just continue on watching this video. But don't forget that if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and... If you want to see the rest of my 31 days of Halloween makeup, then check my description box down below after you watch this video. Or you can't, or to see my future videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell button so you'll be notified every single day this month when I upload a new video. Okay, now let's get into the video for real this time. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking some liquid latex, and I just have a little container. Just pouring a little bit into the container. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit at a time. So then you're going to want to take some toilet paper. I just have, you know, a couple squares of it here. And then just take it and then just split it in half. So then what I'm going to do is just take a square and then take some liquid latex on a q-tip. Then I'm just going to apply that to my face. Then rip this square in half. tear off what you didn't stick down. Then just keep repeating the same step all over your whole face. Also, I forgot to mention, I'm just using, I have my makeup on from earlier today still. Um, I didn't bother taking it off just because it's only going to be something that's like from like here down. So, it doesn't really matter. At this point, I'm realizing, oh, Haley, you're covering up your mouth. You're going to have to make this video into a voiceover. So I just quit talking throughout the rest of the video because, you know, I'm covering up my mouth. So, um, yeah, but basically here, I'm just dipping my finger in the liquid latex and then putting it over the toilet paper just to make sure that it's all nice and secured to my face and that it's not moving or going anywhere. So, yeah. <laughs>
Then I'm just patting it just to make sure that it is dry. And when it is dry, I'm just slowly peeling the liquid latex and toilet paper mixture away from my face. So that way there is a space in between the toilet paper and liquid latex in my actual skin. So when I do go and stick scissors in there, I won't cut my face. So, yeah. Then taking this CoverGirl Clean Foundation in the color 110 Classic Ivory in this BH Cosmetics Foundation Brush, I'm just going to be putting foundation over top of the toilet paper and liquid latex mixture and then blending it all in so it's a relatively similar color to my actual skin color. Then taking some scissors, I am just going in and cutting little slits. I think I did the six in total. These scissors actually didn't end up working, so I switched to a different pair of scissors. So the sharper the scissors, the better, but just be sure you're being extremely careful when you're doing this step because, you know, it is extremely close to your actual skin and you don't want to accidentally cut yourself. taking this wet and wild face paint palette I'm taking this middle red color in the bottom row and I'm going in all of the little slits that I cut actually maybe it was eight not six I don't really remember you'll be able to tell here soon but um, I'm just coloring in side of the little slit things with the red color just to give them some depth and dimension Also, I'm going around the outside of them just a little bit. I'm out of frame here. I'm sorry about that. I need to get better about staying in frame. But I'm going around the outsides of them as well just to kind of give it like a bloody, irritated kind of look. You don't have to do this part if you do not want to, but I thought it would look better this way, so that's what I did. So then taking this middle brown shade, I'm just going over the whole entire latex and toilet paper wound or piece, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just putting this pretty much all over the place, just sporadically, um, to kind of give it some more texture and dimension. I just thought it looked cool with this. I don't like make sure to really like focus it at any one point in particular. It's just kind of all over the place and random. Um, I just thought it looked better that way. It kind of gave it that like dirty, grungy, gross look. And I like the way it turned out, but you do not have to do this if you do not like how it looks. Then taking my beloved Vampire Blood Gel from the Dollar Tree, I am just putting this in all of the little cuts on the piece. But this is a very candy apple red because it's not extremely opaque at all, so we do end up darkening it up later, so don't worry about that. Then taking this brownish red from the top row in the Wet n Wild palette, I am just going all around the piece to kind of give it some more texture and dimension and irritation grungy gross kind of look i just i like the gross kind of look in case you haven't noticed um but we're just adding that all over and then we're going back in with the vampire blood gel and putting that on the little cuts some more to see if that'll help kind of darken them up but again it's not very opaque so it was very candy apple red so i did smudge it around the wounds because you know blood smudges in real life so obviously I'm going to try and replicate what I think it would look like in real life 
Um, but then we go in with the palette to darken this up here in just a moment. Then mixing the red-brown from the top row and the red from the bottom row, I am just going to add those in the little cuts just to darken them up because again, that blood gel was very candy apple red. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and if you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you would like to see the rest of my 31 days of Halloween makeup extravaganza, then all my previous looks will be linked in the description box down below. And all my future looks, if you would like to see those, then definitely be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you'll be notified every time I upload a video for the rest of this month. Until next time, kids from Kentucky. Bye!